Hey everyone, welcome back to WixFix. I hope you're having a fantastic day. My name is Ryan and in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to create a copy to clipboard button in Wix. Let's go ahead and get started. So for today's video, we're actually gonna be basically using the same concept that Wix Ideas YouTube channel posted. So if you want the code to use on your own website, or if you just wanna check out his channel because he posts a bunch of really cool things you can do in Wix, I will have his links in the description below. But let's just go ahead and pretend like this text element right here is text that we want to copy. And then this button right here, let's just pretend we're, when we press this button, we want to copy this text from up here. So let's go ahead and get started. So the first thing that we're gonna want to do in our coding panel is we want to import our API. So we're gonna say import and we want Wix window from Wix window, just like that. And you'll notice it's grayed out right now because we don't have any code down below that's referencing this API. So let's go ahead and set that up. So the first thing that we're gonna want to do is we're gonna say when this copy button one is clicked, so we're gonna say on click, we want something to happen. So we'll create a little mini function here. Inside of this, let's go ahead and create a variable. This first variable is going to be for this text element. So we're gonna say let text message equal, and we want it to equal the text to copy text, basically. So we're gonna grab the text to copy element, and then we're gonna say dot text. So basically what that's gonna say is text message is gonna equal this element and what the element says in the text right there. Perfect. The next thing that we're gonna want to do is we're gonna say Wix window, and we're gonna say copy to clipboard. And what we want to copy is the text message. Just like that, because we just created this variable that is basically the value of this text element. And then underneath that, so we're gonna say then, we're gonna create another little mini function here. We want to kind of disable the button. So we'll go ahead and say dollar sign W, copy button one, and we'll say disable. And then we also kind of want to change the label of copy button one. So once again, we'll say copy button one. We'll say dot label is gonna to equal to copied. So if we go ahead and press preview on this website and I go ahead and press copy text, you'll notice it disabled the button and the label of the button says copied. And if I come over to a new tab and paste it in, you'll see the text that we just copied from our website is now in my little search bar right here. So it worked perfectly. However, let's say this text changes from time to time. So we don't want this button to just stay disabled. So what we now need to do is actually come down below here and we're gonna create a new function. We're gonna say return to default and it's gonna be a function. Now inside this function, what we want to say is if, and we're gonna say, dollar sign W copy button one is disabled, then we're gonna want something to happen. So we're gonna say set timeout. And for this little timeout right here, let's do 1000, which is basically just one second. But after this one second, what do we want to happen? We want the button to basically be enabled. So let's go ahead and create copy button one, we'll enable it. And then we also want to change the label back. So what we're gonna do is say dollar sign W, copy button one, label is gonna equal to copy text. But we're not quite finished yet because as you can see here, this function is still grayed out and that's because we haven't told the code to enable this function or to start this function. So we're gonna come back over here to dot then. Underneath this, we are now gonna put return to default just like that. So now if we go ahead and press preview here and we just copy the text, after one second, it will go back to its original state. Perfect. But let's say we don't have a text element. What if instead we actually have a input? And instead of let text message equal the text element, what we can now do instead is say input one. And instead of dot text, we can say dot value. 
So now if we go ahead and press preview on this website and we can say subscribe to Wix fix and I go ahead and press copy. You'll notice that it goes back to copy text after one second. And if I open up a new tab and paste in what I copied, you'll see it says subscribe to Wix fix. So there are different ways to do this and you can use a text element. You can use an input field. Um, it really doesn't matter as long as you can get the value or text from a specific element, you can basically copy it to your clipboard. But that's basically going to wrap it up for today's quick little video. If you all did enjoy, please consider giving this video a like and subscribing to the channel for more Wix and Editor X content coming out really soon. Also, make sure you subscribe to Wix Ideas. Their links will be in the description below as well. But without further ado, I hope you have a good rest of your day and I'll see you all in the next one.